What is good, A team? It's your boy T. Back at it. Let's go, right? Hey, we back at it with another reaction, coach. Now today we got something a little different here. You feel me? Um, if y'all couldn't tell from the title, supposedly Drake was on OVO Radio last night and leaked. Supposedly he actually leaked a couple different tracks of of a his. Like he had one with Baby King. Um, which that was kind of surprising, you feel me? Because obviously Baby Keem uh, just dropped the one with Kendrick where you were saying smoking on your top fives and all that for the family ties. If y'all haven't seen our reaction to that, I'll drop a link up there. Be sure to go check that out. But yeah, bro, he, he leaked a, a track with Baby Keem uh, and I think like two other tracks. One of them sounded like it had Playboy Cardi on it, which we're actually going to check those quick little snippets out um, in this video. Now, in about 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going to be dropping the reaction to this Kanye West Drake diss. I believe it's called um, Life of the Party, which is featuring Andre 3000. If it's already up or whenever it's posted, I'll drop a link right here. Y'all be sure to go check that out. Um, so we are doing a full reaction to that actual track. I just wanted to do this separate video. Um, just in case that reaction ends up getting blocked for whatever reason, because obviously it's not an official track, it's a leak, so I don't know how that's gonna work over time. But if the if that video does end up getting blocked or copyrighted, y'all can always come back and check this out, because we basically gonna go over the Kanye lyrics that are in that track going at Drake, um, and we're also gonna check out a DJ Academics video that's basically explaining the entire thing. So I figure we'll do this first then drop the reaction to the Kanye West track um, and then just go from there, you feel me? But like I said, Drake was on OVO Radio last night, leaked all this stuff. I wasn't even sure, or I didn't know all this happened. I seen DJ Academics post it. I'm like, what the heck? Because all y'all know, we just reacted to the full album of Certified Loverboy just yesterday. Y'all be sure to go check it out. A link will be up there if y'all ain't seen it. It's like a two hour, 40 minute reaction. But um the lyrics on the track 7 a.m on either brittle or bridal path i'm not sure exactly how you say it but on that track from clb and let me pull this up so y'all can see what we looking at here about let me start my instrumental over bro <clears throat> but yeah obviously drake was on trippy red song when trippy red's album dropped with the 45 44 burnt out let it go you ain't say or ye you ain't or ye ain't changing for me is set in stone. Started with that. Kanye obviously had a couple bars on his album. We did a reaction to at least like six tracks off of Kanye's album as well. I'll drop a link up there. Y'all be sure to go check that out. This man out it, bruh. Y'all just gonna come in interrupting my stuff. Huh? Hey, y'all give me a quick second, man. Give me a quick second. All right, bro. So where were we? We um. Oh yeah, Drake on 7 a.m. on Bridal Pad or Brittle Pad had the. But well, I said we checked out some tracks from Kanye. I'll drop a link up there. All that, but Kanye did have a couple bars on his where he was saying "Move out the way of my release date" and like a couple slight bars that sounded like they were towards Drake. You feel me? There was nothing that was too too crazy, but you definitely heard a couple bars like, "Okay, this is probably about Drake." But Drake came on 7 a.m. on bridal on bridal path, brittle path, and said, I could give a F about who designing your sneakers and tees. Have somebody put you on the guild and you play with my C. That's tough. And obviously he said have somebody put you on a gilding. Kanye was using gilding uh tees for his um for his Yeezy drop and all that. I can't remember what the actual name of his clothing brand. It might it might just be Yeezy, but for his clothing brand drop, he was using Gildan tees and all that. You feel me? Because people was talking about the actual quality of it because Gildan is one of the lower qualities, but he just put everything on there and called it a day type thing. Um, so obviously that's at Kanye. Uh, he said, you know, the fourth level of jealousy is called media. Isn't that an ironic revelation? I actually didn't know what that meant. Psychologically, there are four stages of jealousy, identification, confrontation, redirecting, and the fourth media which is the deepest and strongest thought that's spelled m-e-d-e-a okay so i didn't i didn't i didn't know what what drake was saying on this line i didn't really understand it this is believed to be a shot at joe budden 
former rapper who's now full-time media personality. Drake's already taking shots at him on No Shopping and 4 p.m. in Calabasas, alluding to Joe's apparent disdain and jealousy for Drake's success. Okay, so that's a Joe Button line. Um, but he said, give that address to your driver, make it your destination instead of just posting out of desperation. That was at Kanye based off of Kanye posting Drake's address. And one of y'all said um, that bri bridal path or brittle path is where Drake actually lives. Like that's a, a actual address in Canada. So I guess that's where his, his actual house is. Um, but following up on a previous line, Drake's takes another direct shot at Kanye West, who posted a picture of the address of Drake's Toronto home and deleted it minutes after, further escalating the beef between them. It's tough. It's tough, you feel me? So obviously all that happened. Um, then that's where we get to this leak track that Drake somehow got his hands on and just he played it on OVO radio like, <laughs> Everybody listen to what this nigga's talking about, you feel me? That's crazy, but let's check out DJ Academics. He's going to basically break all of it down, explain all of it for us, um, just so we could get a full grasp of what's going on here. And we'll check out these couple leaks that Drake put out. They're only like 10 seconds, so we're only going to play, pro I mean, just a short snippet of each one. And then we're going to be out of here for this specific video, you feel me? Well, let's see what he's talking about. Check it out now. Oh man, have y'all ever? Hold on, bro. I ain't even turn y'all up so y'all can hear what's going on. We probably have what, like five minutes, six minutes? Alright, bro. Ever seen two people worth of a nine figures beefing? Now it's petty, but it's. <laughs> it's oh, I was have y'all ever seen two people worth over nine figures beefing? Check it out now. Oh man, have y'all ever seen two people worth of a nine figures beefing? Now it's petty, but it's expensive, petty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know Kanye West and Drake, yes, they're beefing. It's not stage beef. They really don't like each other. Kanye has been on record saying that Drake has been so petty, he's fucked everybody in the family of the Kardashian, okay? Basically, he has made it his life mission to <laughs> slang that dick on everybody around Kanye West's family. Now, along with that, Drake don't like Kanye either. Drake actually blames Kanye for Pusha T putting out that song, Infrared, where he was dissing his ghostwriting or writing skills or whatever you want to call it, and then leaking the information of Pusha T where it was divulged that Drake got a kid. And what's even crazier about the whole ghostwriting thing is Drake had a bar about that in this 7 a.m. where he said, uh, he was like, y'all let me take the rap for that Casper the Ghost thing, which I didn't even necessarily get. Well, I heard what he said when we reacted to that track, um, which we actually did a, re a separate reaction to 7 a.m. on Brittle Path, Bridal Path. If y'all haven't seen it, a link will be up there. Be sure to go check that out. Let me see what our timestamp is. 820, all right, bro. Let me see if I can find this real quick and then we're gonna get right back to the video, bro. Uh, all right, yeah, here we go. Let me take the rap for that Casper the Ghost is while you finding all the, well, you boys reaching new lows. Hold on, and I got the flows, niggas still like boot toes. You boys reaching new lows. Let me take the rap for that Casper the Ghost is while you finding all the loopholes. You niggas move too cold. Drake has allegedly wrote for Kanye on Ye and nobody said a word or didn't gain as much steam as it did when Drake was accused of having a ghostwriter multiple times, once by Meek and other by Quentin Miller. I forgot about Quentin Miller, bro. Also, he's stating that Kanye has ghostwriters as well, which is the whole loophole line, but they don't come to light due to the fact he finds workarounds, which are alluded to as the loopholes. That is kind of wild, though, but let's get back to it. So they've been beefing since like 2017, 2018. However, right about that time, actually about from what I heard last year or the beginning of this year, they're about to squash it. Apparently meetings were, were set up, people started communicating and they were on the way to squashing it. And if you listen to Drake's new album, he kind of makes a vague reference to it. They're about to squash it. 
And then they got right back to beefing. Now, where are we at right now? They're beefing. Now, Donda was dropped. CLB, Certified Lover Boy, was dropped. And in a surprising move, because on Donda, we didn't really see a lot of shots by Kanye, even though he was very overt and direct on Instagram and Twitter by basically posting up uh, screenshots of text messages and also posting a map to Drake. Yes, sir. Oh, you can come in, ma. I'll just pause it. I'll just pause it. I got about four interruptions, coach, but let's get back to it. It's crib. However, Drake got on his radio show last night, right? And he premiered a bunch of new tracks for himself. But he also leaked a Kanye West diss song. Now, not him dissing Kanye West, but Kanye West dissing him on an unreleased song with Andre 3000. Now, the song is kind of tentatively titled the life of the party. However, on the song, Kanye West is talking greasy <laughs> and even throwing up gang signs verbally when he said, yo, I put Virgil and Drake on the same text. It wasn't about the matching architects or Kid Cudi dress. Just told these grown men to stop with the funny shit. I might hire the whole team from ACG, so don't text me like I'm Juanita JCV or more important, Monica Corgan, who was there for me. Somebody really there for me was rare for me. That was new air to breathe when I was underappreciated, undervaluated. Stockholders told me boardrooms will bore you. And remember going by your rules, trying to follow the Lord's rules. Thought we was a new Abu Dhabi. Told Drake, don't play with me on GD. <laughs> and he sent that message to everybody. So if I hit you with a W-Y-D, you better hit me with a yes, sir. I'm writing everything you need. That's tough, though. That's t I ain't going to lie. These sound like bars, bro. It's crazy because people was like, this is the hardest thing Drake released all week. <laughs> I guess they take a shot at it because CLB, I mean, CLB is a hit to me, but it's like, Every track wasn't hidden for sure. I had like 13 to 14 out of 21 that I was like vibing with. You feel me? But that's just me. I, a lot of people say they needed to sit with it a little bit more and it's going to grow on you. Kind of how like views did or stuff like that. So we're going to see. But these, these are bars. You feel me? And this track supposedly didn't make Donda for whatever reason. But like I said, we're going to come with that reaction. Y'all stay tuned. It should, I, I should have either dropped a link at the start of this video. If not, it'll be one at the at the end for sure. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie to you. This one goddamn song might have been the best thing that came out of both albums. And I love CLB. And Donda is pretty cool too. However, when Kanye starts talking greasy and he starts having that chip on his shoulder and that arrogance start pouting out and showing up, we see a different type of Kanye. Now, obviously, it's probably written by Pusha T, but who cares, right? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, this thing academics is funny. There's mad writers going around here. Anyway, I'm going to be honest. Drake leaking this tells me Drake might be walking Kanye West into a beef like how he may have been walked into a beef with Pusha T. A lot of people believe infrared was a move to walk Drake into the beef when they knew they had the info about his child all along. So once Drake responded to Info Red, that's when you get the story of Adidon. Now, think I of- I like how he's breaking this down though, cause that is true. So they probably, they more than likely already had all that info. Like, all right, let's just poke at the damn bear real quick. You feel me? And put this infrared out. Knowing that Drake is probably going to respond, or, or it's a slight chance he might not, but more than likely he probably will. And if he does, we got him. All right, story of Adidon, we out. You feel me? We off to the races. Goodbye. So now he's saying Drake might be doing the same thing by leaking this track. But let's, let's see what he got. Why to would Drake release Kanye West's diss song to him, which, by the way, this is about the best Kanye song we've heard in a while, and... Also, it makes Kanye look like he's back on his rapping stuff. It only says this, that Drake wants this out. And Drake probably wants this out, that he could play his next move, which is probably gearing up to drop a response. All right? I think for whatever reason, Kanye tucked this song. But Drake leaked it that the public could know, 
right? Now, without Kanye releasing it, we're like, damn, there's a diss track with Andre 3000 going at Drake. Now, when Drake responds even further, it seems warranted. Mm. I'm wondering why Kanye was saying... This makes so... Bro, I like how he is breaking this down. This makes so much sense, though, when you put it in these... In this perspective, though, you feel me? Like, Drake literally putting it out like, hey, dude, so... So y'all see how this guy talking, you feel me? Y'all see, like, obviously he didn't put this on his album, but y'all see what he put on the actual track, on the, on the actual record. So y'all listen to this. So when I respond, this is what I'm responding to. Not just those, like, light jabs he, he, he took on Donda. I'm responding to this. But y'all remember back then when um, they were going back and forth with Pusha T. When Infrared dropped, Drake dropped, um, I can't remember what the song was called, bruh, for whatever reason. Hold on. What was the name of the track Drake dropped back at Pusha T? Bro, what? Just say Pusha T microphone. Are you off cocaine? Duppy Freestyle. And then... Pusha T dropped the story of Adidon. Um, but Drake was on, I think on the shot. No, no, no. He was doing that uh that uh, interview on uh, Apple Music um right before his last album drop, if I'm not mistaken, or More Life or something like that. And he was talking about the actual Kanye beef and he was saying he had went to a like a like dark space basically. He had recorded something. And this actually might have been on the shop with LeBron James, like his his uh show and all that when uh, Drake was on there. Um but he was like he had went to a like dark place to record a response to the story of Adidon, but he never released it. Cause he was like, if I drop this, there's literally no going back. So he ended up just not dropping it, you feel me? I wonder if he's gonna drop that disc or if he's gonna like re like re up on it, babe, like just do something new and drop that type thing. Or if he's gonna come with that same energy he was talking about for whatever uh mystical diss track that never ended up coming out after the story of Adidon came out. We gonna see though. We are gonna see. Obviously I would I would assume Drake is gonna respond soon though, and it's crazy because his album just dropped. So for him to drop another track like the actual diss track, I feel like it's going overshine the actual album itself. You feel me? Just because it's a it's a diss to kind like an actual diss to Kanye and probably Pusha T as well. Put it out, but it was a very dope song, dope as uh, Andre three thousand verse. And also, I gotta ask y'all though, what do y'all think Drake Angle is? Okay, hey, you dissed him already on seven a.m. on Bridal Path, right? Yeah. You basically have gotten your disses off. Why did you need to leak this? You're not leaking it for us to say, damn, Kanye West still could make dope music, <laughs> and damn, he's dissing, and you're not really leaking it for us to clown him about the GD thing, which, by the way, is ridiculous. However, it makes sense. That man did say GD, though, because he's from Chicago, and I think, like, Lil Durk and him be saying that. So that's one of the actual gangs out there. Um, and Kanye say on GD. What the heck, Kanye? The thing was, by the way, is ridiculous. However, it makes sense why he keeps, you know, campaigning for the freedom of Larry Hoover. Mm. However, why did Drake leak this? Which Kanye did have a little uh, part in there. I think it was Larry Hoover Jr. was talking at the end of one of the uh, tracks, thanking Kanye for campaigning for his dad, Larry Hoover Sr., to get out of jail, which was, I think he was a, Larry Hoover Sr. was a leader of the gangster Disciples, which is the GDs and all that. Drake got another move that he's setting up, if you ask me. And that move is to bait Kanye in a diss song beef, okay? I think, and I know what you might be saying, he didn't go there all the way with Pusha T. But I feel like he's willing to engage with Kanye West, and he's trying to bait him in a diss song for diss song beef, okay? However, I'm going to say this. Kanye West is not the guy who I would ever think is going to be dropping a response song to a response song. Exactly. I don't see him going back and forth, back and forth. Drake, I can see even dropping two, really two tracks. I can't see him doing three, possibly three if it was just that serious. But really, I can see two and then it's like, all right, what are we doing here? You feel me? 
Are we just gonna keep going back and forth? Like, what are we, what are we accomplishing at this point? Because in your first two, tra- in your first track, really, you could have got everything off. But maybe with a second one, how charged up was, and then back to back, where you kind of throw everything in it. You feel me for that second one? Once you get to a third and a fourth, it's like, all right, what are we even talking about at this point? So I don't see no back and forth going with this. And the mere fact he didn't even put this out already tells me that maybe he just didn't want to even enter this realm. However, it's interesting to see how Drake is setting this up because I do think Drake has heard some of the noise about the album. Some people doubting it. Some people not really liking it. Some people comparing it to Donda like, oh, yo, Drake not progressing. Whatever the case is, there's a lot of people critiquing CLB at this moment. And I think he's about to do one of the things he does best. At the moment, you think, oh, no, this is where he's about to be on the decline. He basically pulls off another magic trick, okay? Oh. He probably got some songs in the cut. Mm-hmm. He plays some other songs that we never heard. So I think he's about to roll out some new music as aside from the album. That's what I'm about to say. Is this going to be a deluxe for CLB or just like a random tape or something? That might get added to the album <laughs> later on in true Kanye West form. Okay. I'm wondering what Kanye's strategy is because now when somebody leaked your diss track, what you finna do? Just release it anyway? Back down from it? Or you gonna stand on it? We gonna see, man. But how the hell did Drake even get this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How I'm like, it, it is Drake, so it's like I me. Mean, I'm sure you have people that are connected here and here and there that can get it for you. But it's like, who gave you the the information that Kanye made this actual diss track and then got you the actual song? Like, how how is this? How how did this? How did this happen, my guy? You guys, let me know, man. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Man, this is a petty, almost billionaire wars. Well, at least Kanye's a billionaire. I don't know about Drake yet. But this is pettiness at its finest, okay? Get a comment, you guys like them, subscribe. What do you guys think about this whole thing? This songs on this songs, this bars. What is meant to come next? More academics, make you guys like them, subscribe. I'm up. It's tough. All right, bro. So this was a pretty lengthy video here. Let's see where we at with it. What's our timestamp? 22 minutes. Ooh. All we got to do is check out these quick little snippets and we out of here though. One day, nigga, one day. We gon' get it one day. Fuckin' on your bitch. Early morning, Sunday. Sunday, come on, Dre. Always right, that was that was Drake one of the tracks Drake leaked of his own yesterday on OVO Sound Radio called One Day. Oh, well, it was Playboy Cardi featuring Drake. Okay. This is the Kanye West Life of the Party. Uh, around for what I don't know, but I do know that it's crucial that we do so pronto. I don't know how much long. What's happening? Mama, your son in the red hat had supper. Keeps me around. They didn't even play the part. Either way, my guy. Yo, we going to do the reaction to that. Too, I love you to death. This is the Drake and Baby King. But I told you the truth. I I told you that I was a mess, okay? I get out of bed and get dressed, okay? I think about ways like a... Hold on. See what's about to happen next, okay? That was off of Drake's little uh, three-track three EP drop. So Baby King was supposed to be on that, or how did that... I'm trying to figure out how did him and Baby King link. Because it seems like... I mean, obviously, King is Kendrick's cousin. And Kendrick was obviously taking shots, I would assume, was at Drake on that Family Ties track. So that's what's a little bit... I don't really understand how that even came about, but let's see. Hey, all these thoughts in my mind. Motives to guys fight. Hey. Okay, okay. So it is what it is, bro. We about to see what's what's about to transpire here. Let me get this instrumental going. Until I until I radio. One of the toughest tracks on CLB, that Champagne Poetry, bro. But yeah, man, be sure to check your boy out on IG. That's underscore AT. Um, y'all can hit me up on there if y'all got any sort of insider info. Well, actually, I guess you just hit me in the comments of this video if you got any insider info or hear about anything else. But yeah, this is basically the the, the full timeline of this whole Drake and Kanye beef um, as far as starting with Drake on that Trippy Red track up until now. Um, like I said, y'all stay tuned. The Kanye, uh, our reaction to the life of the party featuring Andre 3000. That should be right here. Should already be popping up for y'all, so y'all can just click on that. Go check out the reaction to that. Um, 
like I said, if it ends up getting blocked, then we just had to do something else with that. But either way, bruh, that's all she wrote. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this. If y'all got suggestions for the reaction, be sure to drop those down below as well. And hey, bruh, let me know what y'all think about this beef. If they start going back and forth, who y'all think gonna actually win it? I'm gonna have to say Drake, because the way he's kind of baiting Kanye, I feel like he's already he's already ready for it. You feel me? Like he, already, he probably already know what he's going to put out, know how he's going to do it. So we're going to see. And I'm wondering if that means a CLB Deluxe is coming next week. We're going to wait and see. Obviously, he already got track saved up in the cut and all that. But hey, man, we on the road to 20K subscribers, 18. Appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a little over here. Catch y'all on the next video.